guys, it's that time again. Time for me to shop my stash for some new makeup to use for the next month or so. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna to pick today is a moisturizer. I'm still finishing up my e.l.f. and I'm pretty sure I'll finish it up this month. So I'm just going to grab something to use once the e.l.f. is done. I'm thinking I wanna go with my Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer with Citrine because you know it's summertime. I like to use a lot of glowy things. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I'm still trying to figure out um, how I want to store my primers because even though I really like this holder, it's very easy to spin around and pick items from. It's very crowded <laughs> because I have a lot of primers. Um, I believe I want to go ahead and pull this for sure. This is the Morphe and Meredith Duxbury. <laughs> Um, it is a foaming face primer, which is very intriguing to me. And I want to play around with this a little more to see if I feel like it even, if it really does anything primer wise or if it's just a gimmick. So let's go ahead and pull this. And I think I want to pull one more primer. I'm kind of tempted to actually pull this LYS because I haven't used this in a while. This is a gripping serum primer, but I also kind of want to pull something kind of moisturizing and creamy. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty uh, Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I love hydrating primers during the summer. So let me see, that one may be my choice. Um, I also have kind of been wanting to use this Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. So maybe i will pull both of these and just kind of see which one i like better so yeah we'll pull these two so before i choose a foundation i want to go ahead and grab a couple of concealers um hmm. i know for sure there's one that i have in mind the new one that i got from nyx i just have to remember where i stuck it uh, where did I stick it? I also want to use, hmm, was it the Sephora or the Kosas? I kind of want to use the Kosas. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is Kosas. I'm not sure exactly what the name of this is, but it's just a primer by Kosas. I know I want to pull that, so I'm going to pull that one. Um, what did I do with that next stick? I just bought that new stick and I don't know where I stuck it. <laughs> I thought I stuck it in here, but I'll find it. Cause that is the one that I definitely want to pull. Oh, here it is. This one. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat today, but it's pretty dry. This new NYX uh, Flix stick. I want to go ahead and try this. It's just like a stick concealer. So I'm going to see how I like it. I might hate it, but I definitely want to try it out. Okay, so I want to grab one more just in case that stick concealer doesn't do it for me. How about we pull the Uma Beauty Woke? Uh, I have number two, I guess. I haven't used this in a while, I don't believe. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull this Stay Woke Concealer from Uma Beauty. Now, while I'm over here, I think I wanna go ahead and try a different base. You guys know I always use my P. Louise base. It never fails me. But I have so many different eyeshadow primers. I wanna try something else. I think I'm gonna pick two. Um, I really don't use the e.l.f., so I hear good things about it. Let's go ahead and pull the e.l.f. And then I have this one, which I'm pretty sure I got in a subscription box or something a long time ago from a brand called Sandbar. And it looks like this is a very, very white base, shadow light long wear eyeshadow primer. So this will be good for me to try out with super bright colors. So yeah, let's do this one. And let's go ahead and do the e.l.f. all day eyeshadow primer. Do I wanna pull another one? No, let's just go with these two and see how that works out. Okay, so even though 
I don't really like to, um, you know, try a bunch of different mascaras at once. I do want to try one new mascara that I picked up. It's this one, this Essence Lash Without Limits. Um, I was actually watching Courtney. I think um, her channel, I believe, is called Everything Courtney. Um, and she was ranting and raving about this. Hopefully, I grabbed the right one. I ordered it off of Amazon. Um, and I just wanted to try it. <laughs> I was like, oh, she likes it. So let's see how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this because the one that I have been using, um, the L'Oreal, I've been using for quite a while and I'm ready to crack something new open. So let's pull this. Okay, you guys. So it is foundation time. Um, and I kind of split my foundations up into two. So I split it up into more higher end and you know more drugstore and affordable up here so um i know for sure i definitely want to pull this l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum with it being you know really hot out here i think i'm going to go for more tinted serums right now so we're going to go ahead and pull this for sure and then when I was kind of organizing my foundation, I saw these NYX drops and I was like, you know what? I haven't used those in quite a while. It's the NYX Total Control Drops. I don't even know if they still sell these, but these are very interesting to me to use. Super, super thin formula. And I just want to see how I work with it now as opposed to how I did a while back. So we'll go ahead and pull those two. Um, but I definitely want to pull some more uh, higher end items. Well, this Clinique actually is drugstore and it should be up top, but they're kind of fancy. So <laughs> I like to put them down here. This foundation I really love as well. This even better uh, clinical serum foundation. This is really nice and it's a serum foundation as well. So let's go ahead and pull that and then one more. This is pretty easy because I'm seeing ones up front that I actually haven't used in a while that I feel like would be good during the summertime. This Rare Beauty, I believe this is a serum foundation too, isn't it? Tinted Moisturizer and this has sunscreen in it. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this because I don't really remember how I feel about it. I didn't, yeah, you know, I haven't used it often enough to actually remember. So let's pull that. So I think that is good. These four should do it. Okay, so that's going to bring us over here to the drawers because we need to do our bronzer, powder, blush, highlight up here. Yes, up here is where I have my different palettes. Don't want to pull a palette. Um, I was looking at this one the other day and it's actually so pretty. <laughs> this one here from Revolution. Oh, she's gorgeous. Do I want to pull her? Hmm. I think I might because she's really pretty. So I think I'm going to pull her. Okay, and let's pull a couple more. This NYX Buttermilk Bronzer is brand new to my collection. I just got it, so of course I'm going to try this for sure. So let's go ahead and pull that. Um, I kind of want to do a cream or a liquid. I have this um, Fenty. Let me see if I can get this out the back. I have this Fenty Cream bronzer that I haven't used in a while. I have 06 chocolate cheeks out. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and pull this to play with. Okay. And I feel, feel like I should pull one more just to be safe, <laughs> just to be safe in case I don't like that NYX buttermilk bronzer. Um, let's see. We have Morphe. This is the, uh, showmance. So this is the one that has the two different bronzer shades in there um yeah let's go ahead and keep it simple we'll just pull this one okay so these are the four bronzers that i pulled for the shop my stash this fenty is looking super chocolatey so i don't know maybe that's why i don't really use it even the um nyx one is looking kind of chocolatey too but we'll see i'm kind of excited to use them we'll see Okay, so let's move on to highlight. 
Um, I did kind of rearrange my highlighter drawers a little bit. I still want to kind of maneuver some things just to make it a little bit easier for me to function in here. But um, this one is easy because this is my new Moira. Um, if you watched, I think I showed it in one of my vlogs. I'm not sure. Y'all, I'm always shopping. But yeah, I grabbed this Moira Sun Glow Face and Body Bronzer in Summer Soul to use as a highlighter. It is so pretty, so I'm definitely pulling this. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in this drawer that I want to pull? I don't really, or I should say I haven't really been using a lot of highlighter palettes, I don't think, lately. This is one of the BH Cosmetics Illuminating in Ireland. Is that what it is? Ireland? And this one, this one's kind of pretty. It has a nice little variation, but I'm not really feeling that right now. Um, let's see. Living my best life. Oh, this is the Beauty Bay one. I know this one is gorgeous. I need to put this camera on a tripod so I'm not struggling. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. But it has like lighter shades. Not really in the mood for that either. So we'll pass on that for now. Um, how about this one? This is another BH Cosmetics uh, Belgian Waffle. This one is probably a little bit... Yeah, this one has like bronzer and highlight, which I'm sure I didn't try these bronzers. They look too light for me. And I would probably only use one of these highlighters. So, mm, ah, let's see what else we got going on. Because I kind of want to do like a little palette or something. This e.l.f. Hi highlighter palette, the Glow Gleam Beam. Ooh, that is pretty for sure, for sure. Um... This one is pretty too. It's a little bit less um, bright and aggressive. This one, what is it called? I don't know. That's not even a name. But anyway. Oh, there it is. Uh, Modern Metals. So it's kind of like blushes in here with the highlight. I'm not really feeling that. Now these highlighters from Revolution. These are gorgeous. They don't look like much. But girl, these are pretty. What about the Soph X? Hmm. I could use this one. I haven't used this one in a while, have I? This is the Self X highlighter palette. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull this. This is pretty. We'll pull this. And let's see. Let's pull one or two more for good measure. <laughs> I've really been loving using like liquid blushes or liquid highlighters like underneath my foundation and stuff. Oh my gosh love 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 doing that the cream highlighters have been really nice during this time of year i just really do not use my loose highlighters and they are some of the most gorgeous highlighters i mean absolutely gorgeous should i pull one maybe i should pull one because they are gorgeous which one is this can we see it or is it too bright uh let's see dewdrop this one is called dewdrop i've had this forever yeah, let's go ahead and pull this. And one more. <laughs> one more. Well, maybe two more because I actually do want to pull a liquid. I've been using like the Sephora liquid um, golden hour uh, highlight. And it's, it's really amazing. And this one is really amazing too. This Crush XO Hustle and Glow Illuminating Shimmer. I just love putting it on underneath my foundation. So I'm going to pull this too. And then lastly, I'm looking at this Born to Glow. And it's just staring me in my face from NYX. I'm going to pull this too. <laughs> what does this say? About the bronze and gem storm? Yeah, I'm going to pull this too because this is staring at me. It like pull me, pull me. Okay, guys. So these are all the highlighters. Oh, they look so pretty. I'm so excited to use them. I know all of these are going to be bomb, so... My review, y'all don't even have to wait for it. I know they all going to be bomb because <laughs> they're so pretty. And I've used most of these before already. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to pick out some loose powder. And 
I kind of have an idea of what I want to use already because it's a couple that I haven't used in a while. You guys know the Huda Beauty is <laughs> like my absolute favorite, so I'm always pulling that. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan, y'all. It just, it got too hot in here. I couldn't take it anymore, so I apologize. The Peach Perfect, another one of my favorites, but collab. I think I'm going to pull this. It used to be my favorite back in the day, so I kind of want to play with this this collab loose powder. I'm going to use this under my eyes and this is one that I used to use all the time. Their loose setting powder, set the stage powder. So yeah, I'm going to pull this for under my eyes. And honestly, I think I'm just going to pull one loose powder um, just to kind of focus on that one. I'm not really in the mood to use a whole lot. If I get tired of it, then I'll come back and pull another one. And it'll probably be my DJ's Unique Boutique because this was another one of my favorites back in the day. I haven't used it in quite a while. So curious to see, you know, if it's still going to be one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one. Okay, and so let me take a look at my pressed powders so I can figure out what I want to use all over my face. Um, I've been using a lot of different powders <laughs> lately, so it's really kind of hard to pick something new or really kind of figure out what it is that I want to use. Um, I do have a L'Oreal foundation that I'm using, so I guess I can go ahead and pick a L'Oreal powder. This is the True Match in C7. I believe this is one that I actually really like a lot, so I'll go ahead and pull this one. And I know I pulled a NYX foundation too, so maybe I will pull my NYX powder. Can't stop, won't stop. What shade do I have? Mocha. So yeah, I'll go ahead and pull this one, so we'll just kind of keep it consistent with some of the foundations that I pulled. Okay, you guys, so these are the powders that I pulled, the collab. This is what it looks like in case you're curious in the DJ's Unique Boutique. And I have the NYX and the L'Oreal True Match. So I think we got some good powders for this upcoming month. Okay, you guys, we are at my favorite part, which is the blush. Yes, this is even more so my favorite part over the eyeshadow palettes, believe it or not. <laughs> now, when I was rearranging my blushes, I don't know if you caught that video, then you you know you saw how crazy my blush arrangement was but it's nice and neat now so i'm very happy um you will remember that i was drooling over this rouge romance from jacqueline cosmetics this blush palette is so pretty and so yeah you know i'm pulling this <laughs> this is beautiful beautiful for the summer so definitely pulling this one i was also drooling over the adept trios um i kind of rearranged my adept blush palettes and highlighter palettes so you know mine don't look how they come when you buy them but this one oh my gosh so gorgeous so i'm sorry i can't tell you what shades these are but super pretty beautiful glowy colors so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well and while I'm in here, I definitely want to pull one of my Juvia's Place um, blush duos. This one is what, volume five, is it? Yeah, volume five. And these are the colors in here. Absolutely gorgeous. These are like some of my favorite blush shades. Kind of like that watermelon pink, watermelon pinky red. So definitely gonna pull that. Yes, I do get a little greedy when it comes to blushes. <laughs> so I totally forgot I just bought these blushes from uh, Clarity Cosmetics. Totally forgot about those. Um, definitely want to try them out. I know they're going to be crazy pigmented. So let's go ahead and try one out. Um, this one is my favorite of all the shades. So extra shot, please. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one since it's my favorite and see how I like it. And one more. <laughs> Y'all, I'm of the opinion you can never have too many blushes to use throughout the month. So, one more from the, you know, more affordable drawer. 
I haven't tried these NYX butter melts. Since I'm trying the bronzer, why don't we go ahead and try one of the blushes as well. So we'll pick this one. This is the bright one. And what shade is this? Had butter. <laughs> okay, had butter. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pull this and then that'll do it. Okay, why does it seem like we have a theme? Do I have a type, you guys, when it comes to blush? <laughs> I'm feeling like I have a type. But that's okay. It's okay to have a type. I love these because these are just gorgeous shades for darker toned skin. Um, also, these orangey, peachy, uh, kind of like, what is it called? Um, coral. Corally, melanie shades. Yeah. Those are beautiful on uh, darker women of color. So yeah, this is what we're doing for the blushes, you guys. I know y'all over there drooling, ain't you? Yeah, drooling, cause I am, child. Especially these Juvia's blushes. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so we got some good ones. They might seem like they look alike, but I'm okay with it. Okay, you guys, so that only leaves one thing, I believe. Oh, besides setting spray. I am going to still use my e.l.f. setting spray, so let me show you that, which is this one right here, the Power Grip, Dew, Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray from e.l.f. that I fell in love with after I just tried it last month. As you can see, I'm running through it, but yeah, I'm going to keep using this um, I will probably still use my one size as well because this is the one, you know, if you want your makeup to stay all day, every day. Like I said, if you're going outside to fight bears and swim in the ocean, that's the one right there. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to keep using that. Um, and I kind of like to stay focused when it comes to setting sprays. I mean, I have quite a few you know that I can reach for if I do decide to try anything different or new then I'll just reach up here you know up on my desk and <laughs> grab one but my main focus is honestly going to be these two still so like I was saying let me go ahead and prop you guys up on a tripod so we can run through these palettes Okay, you guys, so this first palette is one of my newer ones, which is the ColourPop Fresh Greens. It's not new, but it's new to me. I picked it up when I went to the Ulta that's inside of Sephora. So yeah, I wanna make a cute little green eye, see how this palette performs. So that's the first one. Um, I also threw this Sigma Cool Neutrals in here. I've been drooling over this palette for the longest time. Went ahead and grabbed it. And so, y'all know I'm in my cool tone era, right? And so this is what this palette looks like. Beautiful, gorgeous, cool tones. <laughs> so excited about that. I just love how these palettes look. They're so pretty. You know, the little um, sleeve in there is even gorgeous. It matches the palette. So yeah, got that. Um, I also picked this up. Um, a while ago now I just haven't you know actually taken the time to play around with it because I feel like this is something that I'm gonna have to play around with this Danessa Myrick's groundwork blooming palette blooming romance um, because I don't typically work with cream shadows you know so I feel like this is going to be something that I'm going to be wanting to pull specific brushes you know I'm going to want to take my time I'm going to want to perfect how I use this so I'm kind of excited to play with it actually I got some more dense eyeshadow brushes just to kind of you know have a good time with it and make my experience a little bit more pleasurable so yeah I'll let you guys know how this goes <laughs> but really really pretty um, I grabbed this little four pan LA Girl 4 Play eyeshadow palette that I picked up a while ago. Um, I think I got this when I had my little Ulta haul uh, maybe a couple months back. Beautiful color story. So yeah, I just want to do a quick little eye look with this and see how the formula is on these little four play eyeshadow palettes. I've seen mixed reviews. Some people like them, some people don't. So just curious of what I think of it. I grabbed one of my P. Louise palettes. This one I've had for a while. Stack them up. 
this one uh is that the name of it take the risk or lose the chance <laughs> these names they kill me but anyways this is the one that's like a orangey tone i felt like this would be really pretty you know summertime look do a cute little orangey yellow kind of look so pull that and it's only what eight pans so very easy to create an eye look with that I also pulled this Pat McGrath palette. I didn't even know that these had came out when they did. I was just watching someone's video. I don't know who it was. And I saw them showing these. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I could still find them. And I don't even remember what website I found them on. It was some makeup website that I found this one and another one. Because I really, really loved the color story on this and just wanted it. So I went seeking high and low for it and was able to find it. This one, what is this called? Bijou Brilliance Eyeshadow Palette in Lunar Nightshade. So yeah, I wanna do a cute little look with that. As you can see, I picked a lot of palettes where I can just do quick little looks, not a whole lot of shadows or colors to choose from because um, I'm kind of in that mood right now. But I do also have some big palettes, as you can see. This one is the Juvia's Garden of, Garden of Juvia's. <laughs> and, um, yes co cover art is really pretty but this is what this one looks like you know it's very um springtime honestly that's what this palette gives me but i wanted to pull some lighter brighter shades to play with um you know just kind of like it's summertime just try some lighter eye looks that are still colorful but you know just in lighter brighter shades so pull that Let's see, what else did we pull? Oh, of course we had to pull something neutral because that is <laughs> the mode that I'm in right now. So I pulled my ColourPop 1111 and just whenever I open this, I'm like, oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Yeah, very neutral, very basic, but the tones in here, I'm feeling it, really feeling the tones. So yeah, we'll do something everyday-ish with that. I also pulled the palette that I just bought from Adept Cosmetic, the Amy Loves. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. And you know, it's a gorgeous cool tone story. I mean, this just has Amy written all over it. <laughs> but right now it has me written all over it too because I'm loving these shades, loving these shimmers. I just feel like it's gorgeous. So can't wait to play with that. And y'all know how I do. I'll be pulling palettes because this is the mood that I'm in right now. And then for the rest of the month, I might be like, oh, you know what? Let me just do all colorful looks. <laughs> it's just, I reserve the right. I reserve the right. Okay. But this is the Be Perfect Gravity palette. Oh, had this for a while too. This is another just um, cool tone neutral, but leaning more towards, you know, the dark grays and stuff in here. But very 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 nice palette um, I pulled the cool trolls because I used the warm tone one and I wanted to try this one out too but I just didn't get around to it so yeah this cosmic beauty cool trolls oh look at that just opening it's like oh it's so delicious so delicious oh my goodness yeah this one might be getting used first she might be getting used first because, yeah, she making me feel some type of way. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, she's in the bunch. I also pulled this ColourPop Twilight palette. Look at that, so pretty, so pretty. But this color story, you know, if you like, you know, these type of blues and greens and sparkly sparkles, I just just looking at this I feel like this is going to be a good palette I do you know for ColourPop I believe I feel in my spirit that this is going to be better than average better than their normal usual formula but we'll see but yeah this palette is really really pretty look at that it's just they did a real good job designing this and placing the colors where they did. It would be really, really nice if it had this blue in it, the color of her blue jeans. If that was in here, child, that would set this palette off. <laughs> that would set it off. 
<laughs> okay, so now we're getting a little colorful. I pulled the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lure palette. The Lure. And so here we go. Got some color going on. It's still, you know, a little bit on the deeper jewel tone side. You know, got some pretty light pastel shades in there in the shimmers. Look at that top row. Gorgeous. But yeah, so it's colorful, but it's still kind of like, you know, I can get deep and dark with it if I want to. So there's that. I pulled this new palette that I was drooling over in my vlog, the Lunar Beauty Moon Shrum. Look at the packaging. So cute, but honey. Honey baby child. Honey baby child. Tell me that's not Man, get out of here. Get out of here. Tell me these colors aren't pretty. And they, th yes, this is a fall palette. It definitely screams fall. But I don't care, honey. It's going to be a fall summer palette. <laughs> This month, okay, so yeah, we're gonna turn that into a fall summer palette, okay? And then lastly, I grabbed my Be Perfect Carnival Interstellar because listen, this palette is gorgeous and I haven't even used it yet. This is one of the Stacy Marie palettes, haven't even used it, and it's like, what is happening? This palette has been out forever. And the reason why I really, really wanted this palette, the reason why I bought this palette was because they added the section over to the right with the grays, the grays, the cool tone. You know, they just transitioned from those greens right on into the grays. And I was like, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. The colorful, cause usually with the colorful palette, you get the warm tone browns. Every single time they add the warm tone browns to make sure you can do a neutral color, a neutral eye look with the colorful eye look. But this one, they was like, no, we're going to give you the cool tone smokiness. Okay, so I'm here for it. And I pulled it because, yeah, your girl wants to use it. So let's hope I do. Let's hope I do. <laughs> Let's hope I do. So anyway, you guys, this is my shop my stash y'all know i'll be wanting to do my shop my stashes more often but i really really like to spend a good amount of time with my makeup you know the powders the foundations the concealers you know the eyeshadow palettes is it's like eh, whatever you know what i'm saying i can create a decent look with any eyeshadow palette you know it's very difficult for me to come across an eyeshadow palette where i'm just like oh my goodness this is horrible why is this even on the market you know it's like stuff like that doesn't even appeal to me anymore so it's very rare or impossible quite honestly for me to even find myself in a situation of purchasing a palette that makes me feel that way it really is almost impossible so with the eyeshadow palettes i have a good time i create a look i try it out you know i enjoy it but the main thing for me is usually, you know, all of the complexion and blushes and powders and stuff that I choose to use, um, you know, when I shop my stash just to really get a feel for my collection. So, yeah, this is it, you guys. This is my whole shop my stash. As you can see, I put everything in here just to keep it you know nice and concise until I put it in my drawers over there because I always put it in these two drawers right by my desk and makes everything nice and easy and um, I can access it quickly without any problems so yeah that's it you guys thank you so much for coming to hang out with me for this shop my stash I hope you enjoyed it little bit of a different format I think splitting it up from my review side and my choosing side there's still super long videos my apologies but ciao it is what it is <laughs> okay so anyways I love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to hit like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you on the next one toodles